Now here is a fragrance from 2015 that surprisingly I just never got around to reviewing. I've had this bottle in my collection for some time now and I do have a few alternatives of this fragrance too from clone houses or whatever you want to call it. This is a fragrance composed by Marie Salamagne. This one is called By the Fireplace. It's part of the replica line from Maison Margiela. I'm looking forward to giving you my thoughts on this fragrance so make sure to stay Now before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Replica by the Fireplace by Maison Margiela, I'll tell you all about this fragrance, the notes, the performance, the longevity, comparison, so on and so forth. But I do first want to start the video off by saying that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload these daily videos to YouTube. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. It's absolutely free and it would greatly assist with the YouTube algorithm. That's your way of telling the platform that you like these types of videos so you'll see more of them in your feed. Now the first thing I want to do is ask you guys a quick question. Do you have any favorites by Maison Margiela? Of course I've reviewed a few and I own a bunch you know Under the Lemon Tree, Soul of the Forest, Beach Walk, so on and so forth. Drop your comments down below. Do you have any favorites from the brand? I know when it comes to By the Fireplace this is one that people typically wait until the colder weather to start wearing with frequency and that's because you have vanilla, chestnut, peru balsam, pink pepper, cloves, you have spices and woods and sweet ingredients, resins, a balsamic richness and the dry down and of course when you look at the description of this perfume it says burning wood and chestnut and the replica line is all about creating memories in scented form. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on this fragrance from 2015 in just a second. Let's go ahead and start things off with a quick look at the presentation. Now right in the opening of this fragrance you are going to get this warmth from it that I think is quite beautiful. And this fragrance does get compared to a lot of other fragrances on the market. Of course, there's one called Memories of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. That has a really beautiful spicy vanilla in it. It also gets compared to a fragrance by L'Artisan Parfumer called Noir Exquis. That one is a beautiful spicy vanilla as well. And that's what you're gonna get here. You're gonna get that clove, you're gonna get the vanilla, you're gonna get that nutty profile on account of the chestnut. And it really does kind of conjure up or bring to mind these moments of sitting around a campfire or a fireplace as is denoted by the name and you're just experiencing that warmth and you're in the middle of autumn and maybe you're sipping on a warm beverage to try to keep you warm and you know these frigid temperatures that are experienced in some colder climates in the autumn and the winter time and just sitting by a fireplace is I think a sensation that conjures up feelings of coziness and warmth and you know maybe even protection almost especially if you're enshrouded in a really warm blanket but here you have the peru balsam which can be a little bit medicinal for a lot of people just like benzoin it is one of these resinous ingredients that's very warm and very cozy and you compound that with vanilla and it creates this almost sensuality in the dry down. The chestnut is very nicely done and of course there's a lot of nutty ingredients that are found in fragrances. When it comes to almond you have Pegasus by Parfum de Marley, Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior. When it comes to Pistachio you have Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kayali. So you do have a lot of nutty ingredients found in fragrances. There's also Bois Farine by L'Artisan Parfumer. That's a really unique one too if you have the chance to try that one. But here you have the chestnut, the vanilla, a little bit of Gaillac wood too if I'm remembering correctly. The cloves are not overly bright and there isn't an overdose of eugenol in this fragrance and that's an active compound in clove. It's what's used in a dentist's office to kind of numb the pain in your teeth or whatever but here you have a very warm, sensual, cozy type of a fragrance and it's one of the best, if not the best fragrance that Maison Margiela has put out. Now, of course, I'm sure a lot of you are gonna drop a comment below and say no jazz club is the best. Listen, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think it's all a matter of personal preference. Jazz Club gets a lot of love. For me, Under the Lemon Tree, I thought was kind of boring. I do appreciate it for what it does. I think it smells quite nice. It just wasn't unique enough for me and Soul of the Forest, I'm 
being told is discontinued. If you know if that's a fact, drop your comment down below. Uh, that one was very interesting to me. A lot of black currant, a little musky, but not one that I would easily recommend. This one, on the other hand, I would certainly recommend. So warm and rich and sweet and nutty and resinous and it's amazing. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, in my opinion, this fragrance is not the most unique fragrance. It does smell like Noir Exquis by Lord de Saint Parfumer. It smells like Memories of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a wonderful fragrance. It does its own thing. The quality is there. The affordability is there. If you look online, you can find a good price for it. If I find any relevant links, especially to ones where you can sample this so you don't have to commit to buying a full bottle right away, I'm going to leave them down below but the overall smell is really, really nice, very pleasant. Longevity on this one is about seven hours on skin. Projection was good for the first half hour of application. It radiated within an arm's length, an elbow's length scent right around hour four, a skin scent right around hour seven. So could be better. Versatility, perfectly unisex, great for the colder weather. I think you can wear this one on a chilly spring day as well, just because of the performance issues. And I do think that this one could work for anybody of any age. I think this one is more of a formal as opposed to a casual fragrance. Under the lemon tree, for example, is a great casual fragrance. Beach Walk is a great casual fragrance. This one is a bit more on the formal side of things. As far as the presentation is concerned, I think it looks really nice. I do like the aesthetic of the brand. My final verdict, on this fragrance is I think it's one of the best that the brand has to offer. I really do appreciate this one. It's not the most unique fragrance in their library or in their catalog of releases, but I really do appreciate this one. I can see why there's so much love for it. Jazz Club gets the same amount of love, but again, like I said before, I'm always curious to hear from you guys. Drop your comments down below and let me know which one is your personal favorite. I know there's a lot of love for this one. There's actually so many from the brand that people speak quite highly of. So drop your comments down below. I'm always curious to hear from you. Again, if you enjoyed my review of By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela, please do consider showing your support for the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. Love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.